Hello and welcome to the first video of the Hatchling Engine. In this short video I want to de demonstrate uh, some first implementations of our real-time dynamic and interactive water plane. Um, this is a uh, completely dynamic water plane that can be influenced by both uh, dynamic as static objects in the world. Uh, as you can see I have uh, two little boats here when I can move with the arrow keys here. Now as you can see as I move the boat about it creates waves. Uh, the waves bounce off of uh, the walls uh, of the uh, static environment and of the other boat. Whee. Now please note that this is still a first implementation so the water isn't super pretty yet and uh, we're still uh, working on the shaders. Uh, this is purely a technical demonstration video if you will. Um, this uh, water does run very efficiently already though. Um, I've been able to do some uh, early optimizations on it but it isn't fully optimized yet and it does give a nice performance of let's see the total processing and rendering time is 3 milliseconds on an Intel Pentium D 3.4 gigahertz CPU with an AMD Radeon uh, 6670 graphics card so not all too modern hardware um, and it runs pretty nicely there's still some minor issue as you can see uh, when I move under this bridge um, the engine still thinks that under this bridge is a static object so it will uh, uh, make the waves bounce off under the area under the bridge and the other thing you'll notice is that the water plane itself is pretty tiny um, and that's because uh, I haven't implemented a concept yet where the uh, water plane will actually be endless so um, it will s stretch out to wherever you look um, and uh, hopefully when I will have implemented this concept um, we'll have a, a fully dynamic and interactive water plane um, in a very large world as uh, some of you might know uh, we want to release a game called Splash Hazard on this engine and uh, it features wacky boat racing <laughs> in the canals of Amsterdam you can see a little piece uh, of Amsterdam here uh, obviously this is a work in progress model uh, this is the Kikkerbilbrug uh, and some buildings uh, this is actually near Nemo, um, near this uh, pier here, uh, there's the Nemo building. Um, so we want to have an open world that encompasses the, well, the entire uh, center of Amsterdam, which is about 5 by 5 kilometers. Uh, so, yeah, as you can understand, we need we need uh, an engine that can support an open and dynamic world without any loading times uh, such as uh, ah, examples uh, GTA 5, uh, Just Cause 2 or if you want to go really big fuel <laughs> hopefully less boring <laughs> uh, so this world obviously because it's about boat racing uh, we'll also need to feature a, a fully dynamic water plane and water physics uh, for the entire world. Uh, first goal is obviously the 5x5 five five kilometers, uh, but I'm kind of going for something bigger after that first implementation of 5x5 five five kilometers. Um, some other things I also need to implement is the actual physics. Um, let me just head o back over to this boat and try to get my boat over here. 
the um, physics engine is entirely custom uh, it's still a very basic first implementation just like well the rest of the engine pretty much uh, as you can see um, this other boat is also a physics object and it doesn't respond yet to waves nor does my own little boat um, this is something that uh, I'll implement in the future. Something else you'll notice that there's no uh, uh, vertex deformation going on here. If you follow the waves here, you'll see that this is just a flat plane still. The only thing happening is uh, normals deformation, which, like I said before, is a uh, first implementation too. So it's not super uh, pretty yet. Oh, and I got a Skype message, so the entire computer starts to lag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yay, Skype. So, um, uh, this is a yeah, short demonstration of a first implementation of real-time dynamic and interactive water. If you like this video and you want to see more in the future, subscribe to this channel. And if you have anything to say about this, well, don't hesitate to comment and uh, I'll happily answer any questions or commentary uh, you have about this little video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.